KS Heating and Air, the team ensuring your comfort. Good morning, this is the Weather Extreme video for Saturday, August 31st, 2019. I'm Scott Martin. We have a mean looking major hurricane moving towards the Bahamas today. Will that affect our weather during the holiday weekend and into next week? We'll get to that in just a moment. Skies are starting off mainly clear across central Alabama at 7 o'clock this morning with only a few stray clouds over the east and southeastern parts of the area. Temperatures were in the lower 60s to the lower 70s across the area. Birmingham was the warm spot at 72 degrees, while the cool spots were Jasper, Talladega, and the St. Clair County Airport at 61 degrees. We currently have no watches, warnings, or advisories in effect across the state. It should remain that way throughout the day today as we have no organized severe weather expected. Only a few isolated to scattered showers will be possible in the southern parts of the state. Now let's take a look at Category 4 Hurricane Dorian. The westward turn occurred during the overnight hours and is now moving to the west-northwest at 12 miles per hour toward and eventually just north of the southeastern and central Bahamas today and over the northwestern Bahamas by Sunday. As of the 4 a.m. update, maximum winds are still clocking at 140 miles per hour. The latest track from the National Hurricane Center shows the center of Dorian now curving right before making it to the east coast of Florida and moving just offshore to the north with a potential landfall around Hilton Head, South Carolina. While the forecast track doesn't show a direct landfall on Florida, the peninsula is still located in the cone, which means that a Florida landfall is still possible. Here are the key messages for the hurricane. A prolonged period of life-threatening storm surge and devastating hur hurricane force winds are likely in portions of the northwestern Bahamas, particularly on the Abaco Islands and the Grand Bahama Island. A hurricane warning is in effect for these areas and residents should listen to advice given by the local emergency officials and have their hurricane pr preparations completed today. Life-threatening storm surge and devastating hurricane force winds are still possible along portions of the Florida East Coast by the early to middle part of next week. But since Dorian is forecast to slow down and turn northward near the coast, it is too soon to determine when or where the highest storm surge and winds will occur. Residents should have their hurricane plan in place, know if they are in a hurricane evacuation zone, and listen to advice given by local emergency officials. The risk of strong winds and life-threatening storm surge is increasing along the coast of Georgia and South Carolina during the middle of next week. Residents in those areas should continue to monitor the progress of Dorian. Heavy rains capable of life-threatening flash floods are expected over portions of the Bahamas and coastal sections of the southeastern United States this weekend through much of next week. As far as central Alabama and the Alabama Gulf Coast, the spaghetti plots have Dorian staying well east of the Gulf of Mexico. While we may see a few clouds from the far western periphery of Dorian, winds will be out of the northeast and north starting on Tuesday and for the remainder of the week. As you will see, that will keep rain chances out of our forecast during that time, but it will not keep our daytime highs from getting into the lower to mid-90s. Now let's get to today's forecast and the forecast for the next six days. While much of central Alabama will stay dry throughout this last day of August, we may see a few isolated to scattered afternoon showers and thunderstorms over the southeastern parts of the area, especially along and south of the I-85 corridor. The reason for that will be the area of high pressure that has been nearby will become distorted and more of an easterly flow will start over the southeastern parts of the area. A convergence zone will set up over those locations, which will be the focal point for the development of those showers and storms during the main heating of the day. Afternoon highs will be in the upper 80s to the lower 90s. Most activity will diminish after sunset, but a few showers could linger into the late night hours. We should be completely dry before midnight. The convergence boundary will move northward and end up around the I-59 corridor for Sunday, which will bring an increase of moisture levels along and south of that boundary. With the heating of the day, we'll see a chance of a few isolated to scattered afternoon showers and storms along and south of the boundary, while north of that, we will stay dry. Afternoon highs will be in the upper 80s to the lower 90s. A high pressure ridge starts to build back in from the west, which will send more continental dry air into central Alabama on Monday. The holiday will be mainly sunny with maybe a passing cloud or two with afternoon highs hitting the lower 90s. 
The good news is that the dew points will be dropping throughout the day into the mid-60s by the late afternoon. Now for the rest of the work week, with the current forecast track of Dorian, combined with the ridge continuing to be in control of our weather, we can expect a dry week with plenty of bright sunshine and very little in the way of passing clouds. Dew points look to stay in the lower to mid 60s throughout the week, which will make the heat feel a little more tolerable. Highs on Tuesday through Thursday will be in the lower to mid 90s, with highs dropping back into the upper 80s to the lower 90s on Friday. Weather will be perfect in Huntsville on Saturday as the National Weather Association Foundation will be bringing Weather Ready Fest to the campus of the University of Alabama in Huntsville. We will all be getting started at 10 a.m. and go until 4 p.m. This one-day festival will include family-friendly games, fun learning activities, large response vehicles, and enlightening speakers. And the best part, it's free. Local and national celebrities will make special appearances along with our very own James Spann, as he will be doing a book signing during the morning. Over 6,000 attendees showed up in St. Louis for last year's event. Let's break that record this year. Get your free time tickets now as they are going fast. More information and a link to tickets are available on the festival website at www.weatherreadyfest.com. Hope to see you there. That is all for the Weather Extreme video for today. We'll have updates on the blog throughout the day. The next video will be out Sunday morning, produced by Bill Murray. I'm Scott Martin, signing off for today. Thank you for watching, have a great day, and God bless. Never wait for hot water again with a tankless water heater from Plumbing Experts. Tankless water heaters are easy, convenient, and now more affordable with a no-interest financing for up to 18 months. Stop with the cold showers and wasted water and call Plumbing Experts today.